Hello, my name is Mickey Yipe, and I'm an RN, Certified Diabetes Educator. I manage Hurley Diabetes Center, which is a part of Hurley Medical Center in Flint, Michigan. It's important to take the time to make sure that you prepare your finger well to get a good blood sugar droplet for testing your blood sugar. When you um, got your meter, you got a Lancet device. It's important to use the Lancet device that came with your meter. What the Lancet device does is allow you to poke your finger at the proper depth to ensure that you get a good blood droplet sample with minimal discomfort. All the Lancet devices are adjustable so that you can change the depth of your poking device. So if your blood droplet is too large, you can go to a smaller depth. And if your blood sugar droplet is too small, you can go to a deeper depth. It's important to wash your hands before you begin your blood sugar testing. Washing your hands removes surface germs. It also provides warmth, which increases the circulation to your blood sugar, to your fingertips. If you choose to use alcohol, alcohol can change the results of your blood sugar reading test. So you would want to use it, but then wait until it dries and then wipe off the first blood droplet sample. We don't recommend using hand sanitizers because they're alcohol-based, and again, alcohol can change the result of your blood sugar reading. It's recommended that you poke on the side of your finger where the capillary blood flow is best. And if you look at the fingertips, there's a little area where it's slightly darker. That means it's, that there is good capillary blood flow in those areas. That is where you want to poke with your Lancet device. It's important to make sure that your hands and fingertips are warm because it's very difficult to get blood out of a cold fingertips. So besides washing your hands with warm, soapy water, the other things you can do are rubbing your hands together putting your hands inside a warm pocket or sitting on your hands. Additionally, you want the blood to get to your fingertips. Your heart is here and your fingertips are here. So if you hold it up, the blood drains from your fingertips. But if you put your hand down, watch and see how red my fingertips become, which means there's a lot of blood there. If you do these few extra steps, you'll ensure that you'll get a good blood sample the first time you poke. Now I'm going to show you how to do a successful blood sugar test. Having already washed my hands, I'm going to put the Lancet into my Lancet poking device and adjust the dial to the depth of two. I've taken a strip out of my vial and I'm putting it into my meter. When I see the blood droplet on the top of the screen, I know that the meter is ready to accept my blood. I put my hand down to ensure that I get a good blood sugar flow. Poke it. And then simply bring the blood to the strip. When there's enough blood on the strip, it will start timing and provide me with a blood sugar result. In this instance, my blood sugar is 84. Making sure that my fingertips were warm, clean, and dry, putting my hand in the dependent position, and using the Lancet device that came with my meter ensured that I got a successful blood sugar test the first time.